I get upstairs and I'm like deep breathing at this point. I mean, I'm talking like, like I'm really trying not to throw up. Are you allowed to take a break from work to eat pudding? Well, I think I can work and eat pudding at the same time. Oh, good. Because I'm almost done the vlog. Nice. Hi, good morning, pudding. guys. It's not morning. Don't worry, we're not eating pudding in the morning. Oh. We would definitely not do that. <laughs> wow. I, I did not used to be a pudding person. But I think Mary has won me over. It's, it's pretty good. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Pudding. Pudding. I feel like it makes me want Boston cream pie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Basically, I want to eat cake with my pudding. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Peter's work today looks a little different than mine. He's preaching two men's retreats. Are they both men's retreats? They are. Two men's retreats in the next couple of months. And so he had to do logistics and work for that stuff. Edit two videos, upload, probably other church email work stuff. Um, I froze some avocado and I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> important work. Yes, very important. Different important work. I saw a post how you can freeze avocado and it won't go brown and then it thaws just fine. So I am feeling really excited about this. And the way I did it was I froze it in these little balls. So if we're having tacos, we'll just get one of the little balls of smashed up avocado out. Now could you freeze a half of an avocado? I might need to do some experimenting because sometimes you want slices of avocado, not well, Smash. I have half of an avocado over there. I ate half of it with my salad. Maybe I'll do an experiment. I know the other thing I did. Oh. The other thing I did was I organized the junk drawer, which is a cabinet. We don't have very many drawers in our kitchen, and so the junk drawer is actually our cabinet. And I found some gift cards and I checked the balances of the gift cards. And so now I'm writing it with a Sharpie, how much is left. This one, unfortunately, is only 10 cents. That's a bummer because um, it's kind of hard to remember to carry this around. We don't shop at Bye Bye Baby very often. And so the chance of us remembering this, that one time we go there in the next year, is so low that I think we may just call this one completed. It served us very well. It was a gift and it was well appreciated. Um, what did we get him? I'm trying to remember what we bought him at Bye Bye Baby. I think I ordered one of his plates. It's like one of the rubbery easy peasy plates. Or wait, is that what I did? I forget what I ordered with this one, but I got him something that I really, you know, appreciated having it. And here we are with 10 cents left. I will write it on here just in case we happen to go there. 10 cents. There it is. And then I need to check this Walmart one. This was a, a returned item that we didn't have a receipt for or something like that. And so I need to check this because we tried to use it at Walmart the other day. We bought some groceries and it like wouldn't go through, so I need to check it. So this is what I'm doing with my day. I organized the junk cabinet, which was a feat, let me tell you. I mean, it's the kind of cabinet where it's like avalanche style every time you open it, and you're like, I just need a pen. Oh no, it all came down on me. So, okay, this is what I'm doing. 
I just randomly remembered I was upstairs working on something and I remembered we bought with that Bye Bye Baby gift card a pack of glass Dr. Brown's bottles because the tops work better than the Avent bottles and this like full body bib. That's what we bought and there were 10 cents left over. Okay, I'm glad I remembered. How? How did that happen? We just turned on the camera and Elijah woke up. <laughs> we went out tonight, or I guess it was this afternoon. Everything's a little bit of a blur, but we, not, not in a bad way, not in a, a bad blur, but a good blur of, one, it's really hot here this week. I think the temperature tomorrow is supposed to go into the hundreds, and, um... Note to self, stay inside. <laughs> no, I actually don't mind the heat. Um, I do need to water the grass tomorrow morning. That's probably a good idea. Anyways, we went to the mall. We don't usually go to the mall. And uh, we walked around. We got... What did we do? We did some birthday shopping for family members and... It was just fun, and Elijah was, he, he is doing this thing where in the stroller, he just gets like super chill, and he put, we put his little shades on him, and he just, he was uh, living his best life. Good morning, guys. We're supposed to have a hot one today. Sweat bead bringer. Sweat bead bringer. Um... Uh, what is it still forecasted for a hundred? <coughs> maybe, maybe not a hundred. Although we walked out this morning, sat on the front, on the deck, and drank our coffee, and it was like seventies. So I think in the next few hours, the temperature is going to come up fast. Although it, it might storm as well. Yeah, who knows? So I'm watering the grass. Mary's doing her best. Elijah just went down for his morning nap. He is just. A bundle of joy and we are so grateful for our mornings lately we go out on the back deck and he lays on this uh, seat cushion and just he takes in all the trees and the birds and he'll lay here for 20 minutes and just uh, take it all in and then yeah we just have a fun little morning together but welcome to our day guys as you can see um, these, uh, what do we have here? Pansies didn't do too well with the heat. And um, so I have some more of this stuff in that pot over there. I might replant it in on the plant wall. I'm about halfway through my antibiotic. We had a cold like a month ago-ish. Mm -hmm. And it, of course, woke my CF lungs up and not in a good way. No, not in a good way. And so I'm halfway through a two-week course of Leviquin and my lungs seem to be coming back around a little bit. I'm still coughing a little bit, but not quite as bad. And it has made me nauseous. Not when I take the pill, the antibiotic, but like this morning and yesterday morning or a couple mornings ago, I took my morning pills and then set my timer for two hours because I have to take the antibiotic two hours after my morning pills. Maybe five minutes later, I was like, hmm, I feel nauseous. So I start going upstairs to find Zofran. I get upstairs and I'm like deep breathing at this point. I mean, I'm talking like, like I'm really trying not to throw up. And I find the Zofran, I cut it open because you know you can't be dealing with the peely thing when you're like that nauseous. I cut it open, I pour it out and I scarf it down. And I was like standing in the bathroom and immediately threw up. I was like, well, that didn't work. But then, you know, two hours later I take my antibiotic and I'm totally fine. Like it didn't make me nauseous. So I don't know, but my eating has been off because I think it just makes me kind of underlying borderline nauseous. But I'm back in my 
peppers and cream cheese phase and I am happy to be back. It is so easy for me to eat. I love it so much. It's just pepper, uh, yellow pepper at this point. I mean, sometimes red pepper, etc. A colored pepper, because green peppers taste really iron. Is it irony? What's the flavor? Something about green peppers has not worked for me as an adult. I loved them as a kid, but now as an adult. Mm -mm. So colored pepper, cream cheese, and everything bagel seasoning. My favorite one is from Aldi. I think the mixture of all the spices in the Aldi brand is perfection. So I'm gonna eat this happily because it sounds delicious and nothing else really does. Okay, shh, I'm working on a surprise for Peter. He just ran upstairs to get something to bring it down. So I'm gonna show you Father's Day. It's one picture from each month. I've been working on selling a couple of baby things we're done with. Oh, hi, Harry. Like this um, wooden stand that our bassinet went on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the Mama Roo, which Elijah disliked. We ended up, somebody gave us a, just an old, like, not old, old version, you know, like the Mama Rose, like the new version of the swing for the baby, but he did not like it. He liked the like whoosh, 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 old timey swing. So I'm gonna clean this wooden frame off because I'm selling it on Marketplace and somebody's on their way. Let's clean it. That is so awesome. Oh, nice people are so nice. I love. Well, we bought that from somebody else. They, and weren't, then, they weren't so nice. No, that person was. <laughs> <laughs> it was an odd. Most people we met they the work have been so nice. So, so nice. Um, but now that we're done with it, she can use it. And she was like, I was up feeding my baby at two in the morning when I found your listing. And I was so excited. So I'm so glad. That makes me so happy. And next is that Mama Roo, which is clean because we barely, he maybe sat in it one time. So all is well. And then what else? I had something else. Oh, a, a stroll, a uh, car seat base. We only have one car. And when we bought the car seat, it came with two bases. So I'm selling the other base. And Does somebody come in for that or not? No, not not yet. No takers. No takers, just the other two things. So, okay, cool. Um that's cute. Peter's making a t-shirt design. Good morning. Yes, I was in the mood for some Alfredo. I made some homemade Alfredo, um, salmon, and some green beans. Mm hmm I would say it was a hit. I am so excited. Hey, we, there's the owner right there. Yeah, we are. He's right there. We are bringing Elijah to his first trip to Perkins Orchard, the little farm stand that we love. Oh my goodness. So fun. Oh yeah, I forgot they built that building. They sell like meats and like different vendors inside of that building. All right, buddy. Do yeah, I have any salmon in my teeth? You look good, you look good. You ready? First time to burp. Check it out, I feel like we need to walk through the magical palm tree walkway. This is magical enough. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it's his first time. <laughs> <laughs> we get the top variety grown, so. Here we go. Every peach that you find out of any grocery store is called a number two hard wash, meaning they go through the field a second time, they remove fuzz at the facility, cows on 18 wheeler, off to the store they go, and we never see the light of day. There's a difference between those second runs and the first field runs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. I got it. So we we've showed you guys this before, but it's twenty dollars. You fill up the bag with as much produce as you want. See? Twenty dollar bag deal plus a cantaloupe. First time I purchased. You're gonna have fun in maybe a year picking out stuff. Yeah. Oh, warm. It is warm out here. Okay, this is iconic. Look at that, a peach with the stem. You know that's farm fresh right there. It's good. So good. All right, buddy. We got lots of produce for you. No, not for you yet. Okay, we got a bag full of produce. We got some lettuce, some they always give you free cilantro. That's like a bonus. Free cantaloupe. We love this place. It's amazing. And ever since Elijah's been bo born, I've been dreaming about bringing him here. He has come, he's almost six months old. Which means pretty soon, you'll get to eat some of this stuff, buddy. All right, let's go in the building. So they have like local farms that have different kinds of meats here in the freezer. Looks like local Ooh. bakers. Pretty fun. Well, thanks for coming to Perkins with us. First trip. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.